collision between the Black Beast, Derek Lewis, and Andre Arlovsky. the decorated kickboxer back for more here tonight and he's so comfortable in the striking realm it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing oh it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress i know when you're in kickboxing range you are in the fire there is no safety you're right in range to be getting knocked out but he does not fear that he loves it he loves the he loves the combat he loves the engagement what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, so here's the former world title challenger, the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Of course, you have shared the octagon with this man, and they don't pack much more power than this guy in this heavyweight division. No, some guys are blessed with a power that's just jarring. And Derek Lewis is one of those guys. He's so big, he's so strong, he's deceptively quick when he's in there, and he's unbelievably athletic. He will throw double kicks, and you think that he's going up with the left leg, but then the right leg lands, he throws the right hand from anywhere, and the moment he lands, he can put your lights out. And it does not matter the time of the round, yeah. Derek Lewis can finish at any moment in the fight. And he's a guy who's also been a real workhorse for the UFC, made his debut back in 2014. He did have a recent knee surgery. Let's see how he comes out of it here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Arlovsky is six years his senior. Lewis weighed in at 260 pounds. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 21 losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Pelota. Ladies and gentlemen, he is a former UFC heavyweight champion, Andre the Pit Olowski. And now, you see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. A boxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 10 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? All right, so here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Oh, vintage Andre Arlovsky boxing there. This is a man with more than two decades in the game and still learning, still has an appetite for improvement, and he can do a whole lot worse than American top team when it comes to elite training partners and coaches. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Wow! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Misses with that punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, 
Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He dictated the fight with a jab. Oh, nice jab. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. Look at the turtle in that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar oh. tie. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He's in trouble. He's getting it up. Oh, and he caught the kick. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes on top. So just over 20 total strikes that have landed now for Andre Arlovsky. Both fighters here continuing to try to get... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Beautiful. Arlovsky's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. And they separate. Slips the left hand. Punch. Uppercut lands for him. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. He engages in the single collar tie. As he changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. He looks like. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, Johnson. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to be kicked like that. And just misses with that big right hand. Got the single collar tie. And he landed the right hand there. 45 seconds remain in the round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, nice punch there by Lewis. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Straight right is there. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, here we go. Round two. Okay, round three, Derek right? Lewis. Let's go, and Andre Orlovsky. Big ball for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order it. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, beautiful. 
beautifully placed in time kick there by Orlovsky. Straight right hand now just misses. Lewis gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. So we call on the fight stats here, DC. 62 total strikes have now... Man. He needs to start looking for finish now because he's got his Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style Block. gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Back and forth we go. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too, because when you start reaching out to catch that kick, you're cutting the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Arlovsky's in trouble! Oh, big left hook there. Man. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Whoa! Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Just misses with the jet. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Real oh! It's over now. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched blow. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Andre the Pitbull. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.